guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be cleaning and decorating my entryway we just finished a little bit of construction and so everything is dusty so I'm going to wipe it all down and then we'll decorate my entry I'm going to start by sweeping the floor the floors in the entryway really the kitchen the dining room they're all very dirty so we are going to give them a good good clean um, I'm gonna move the table clean off the dust on the baseboards I have been watching go clean co on Instagram I think for like a year now maybe not quite a year but I have been using her tide and bleach concoction to clean everything and it works so well especially on walls like this so I'm just filling up my mop bucket and then I'm just gonna use my mop to um, oops I probably put a little bit more tide in there than I should have but um, I'm gonna use my mop to wash the walls I also changed my clothes because that sweatshirt that I was wearing was brand new and I did not want to get bleach on it so I'm just um, rinsing out my mop until my mop head is just barely wet like there's no dripping water and the walls aren't necessarily like dirty but with all the construction they are dusty and so I was trying to get the baseboards with the mop but you'll see in just a second I was like you know what let's just get the walls and I'll come back with a rag and do the baseboards and that ended up working out great pro tip if you have or want to have all white walls make sure you're using the highest quality paint you can afford and do not paint it flat because you will not ever have pretty white walls the paint we use is Benjamin Moore and it is so nice again just with the mop um, dusting the walls and um, just you probably don't need to watch me do this forever because it's pretty self-explanatory but um, I swear this just makes such a world of difference <laughs> I use this uh, mop in my bath um, tub shower too because I hate clean in the shower and this makes it so easy just like on the other side of the door I'm going to just wipe down the baseboards with a rag I still use the bleach and tide mixture and um, the walls on the corner here obviously those are dirtier than the wall because that's where the kids go around the corner so I'm gonna spend a little bit more time there Hey guys, I'm sure that you have seen this before, but I wanted to share with you our wall sconces that we put up. They are not hardwired in. We are just using the puck light little hack. And luckily on these shades, these aren't my favorite shades that came with the lights, but I will link these in the description box. These were $45 and you got two of them. They're from Amazon. There is another set for, I think it's like $119, the exact same ones, but I think the gold may be a little bit different and probably look better, but I bought the cheaper ones and I spray painted them with um, the spray paint. Let me show that to you really fast. Okay, I used the Modern Farmhouse Rustoleum paint. I love this. It is the perfect like champagne -y gold. It's not like metallic gold, but it's not. Um, I don't know, it's just the perfect color. I used it on these lights. I used it on the lights above my island. Um, I started those with rub and buff, and I don't know what I did wrong, but the rub and buff all wore off. Like, we had to go and fix the lights. Like, they were hanging too far low, or too far down, and when we, um, moved them all the rub and buff came off so we spray painted them and they match the ones that are over my open shelves perfectly so highly recommend this gold spray paint i tried a couple i did one in my bathroom and i didn't love it i like it works but this one i like the sheen of this better so highly recommend anyway i will link the little puck lights and luckily for this shade all of all you have to do with these is drop them in and they just sit on top there <laughs> um and a lot of them you can glue in i'm not going to glue them in but you could i love the way they look i wasn't planning on actually turning them on and using them but i have been and i think they're really 
really pretty. I consider the front door to be part of the entryway, so I spent a little time making sure I got all of the windows really clean. I will not lie, I do not like cleaning the windows on the store. However, I am still over the moon about the door. I'm actually considering staining our new table the same color as the door. I, I just love it so much. My husband did such an amazing job on it. While I was cleaning today, a package from Target showed up with a new doormat. So I thought that I would sweep off the porch and put that down. We still have a lot of snow outside. It's still so cold. The sun was shining today, but it's still, you know, un today it was over 30, but the last few months it's, it's not been, it's been below 20. So, um, I had the one layered mat, but the do good, be good mat just came and I wanted to um, put that out. And then I decided to hang up my new wreath. I will spare you the two hours it took me to mop my floors today because I mopped them several times um, because they were, they were in dire need of it. And now they look beautiful. So once your water's dirty, don't be dirty, dump it out and get new water. And then I wanted to roll out my rug for the front door. I love this rug. It's from Target. I'll link it. Um, I love this rug. It's such good quality, such a good price, and I love the subtle plaid. You know me. I love plaid. Um, I'm considering buying the larger version. I just haven't decided for sure, though. All right, let's decorate my entryway table. Um, you've already seen the wall sconces that we put up, and I've had this table from Target for a few months now. Um, but what we did is we did take off the bottom part. Because you'll see why in just a minute. But um, the first thing that I'm going to start with is like my focal point, and that is going to be a very big mirror. All right. So I picked this curved mirror because I have lots of straight edges going on everywhere. And so I wanted to just add, you know, we've got the panes in the door, we've got the panes in the window, and all of the straight lines with the board and batten. And I wanted to just add a different texture to the space. And this is a very open space. So, um, and I also went with black, which I know. Are you surprised? Um, I'm not surprised. I've got black windows and I need to ground this space with some grounding pieces because it feels so light and so airy, which I love. I really do love that. But uh, I think this adds a huge statement to this, this space. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm going to keep it fairly simple and I showed you guys a piece of art um, in my last video, and I'm going to layer that next. All right, so this is the art piece. I just printed it, I had it printed, and then I just bought this very inexpensive frame at Hobby Lobby. I think it was $5, and I liked this one over the expensive one, just because I it was exactly what I wanted. I wanted a very, very skinny, but I wanted it to be gold. It doesn't match the gold of my wall sconces, but I actually really like that. So um, I didn't want the frame to uh, be overpowering and I didn't want black because I didn't want to layer it against that. So I'm gonna just put this right here. I might have to move it in just a second. And then I'm just gonna add in a few little um, decorating pieces. And I'm going to start with this large um, base that I got at Target. Um, it was only $24.99, it's huge. And I'm going to place that here. And then I'm going to um, layer that with this black one. Um, this was also Target, hearth in hand. This one was $8.99. And I love the white. So this isn't like a bright white. So it adds warmth to all of my white. So the cream and white, I used to hate together but I have been really loving it in this new space. And so, um, and then another black piece to kind of ground everything. And then I have 
these really darling book boxes from the Studio McGee line at Target. Now, I think they're adorable, but I don't think the quality is that great. So, I mean, I'm gonna keep them because I, I, like I said, I think they're adorable, but like this one's chipped right there. I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna keep them and I think they're, I love the idea of them, but um, I just wish they were a little bit better quality. So uh, they're not crazy expensive, so I guess you get what you, get what you pay for, but uh, I'm going to put those on the end here just like that because I'm just I want to add you know I, I've got height over there I want to add height over here but I wanted to add a different texture so these all have a texture to them and these are very smooth um, and add a little bit of color without being crazy color and then the last thing I'm gonna do is super easy I bought a bunch of these um, faux greenery at Target I'll have everything linked below if you want to check it out. Um, I'm not going to take the tags off these quite yet because I'm not sure this is exactly what I was looking for, but I wanted to film this video and I wanted something there until I can um, find, if I see if I can find something else. I went to Hobby Lobby, but um, none of their greenery was on sale and so I didn't even look. So next week I'll go back and look, but I do really like these and I think that for, I think they look really good for a faux um stem so i will probably keep them just i don't know yet i can't decide so i just wanted to tell you that unless if you see another video and you're like whoa something changed yes i'm on the fence and i still have the tag on them so i did want something tall over here um and i wanted it to be green but i, I wondered if i wanted maybe something that had a little more texture to it. I'm not sure, but and I'm just gonna have to play with these. They're not doing exactly what I want them to do. Um, I just have them in there perfectly. Dang it! Actually, you know what? That looks pretty good. What do you think? Um. Anyway, I still feel like I want to put something right here. I just haven't found that piece. And like I said, I'm just buying things slowly um, and some things that I really love. And so we'll, we'll figure it out. But for now, I love it. I love how it turned out. And to finish off the space, I am going to put my two blue and white striped ottomans. I'm just gonna tuck them under here. This, I feel like, makes such a difference to this space. I love the texture. I love that we can pull these down on them and put our shoes on if we need to. Um, I did like four different design boards and like switched this out like like I said four different times and this I kept coming back to this so um, I just I love the texture with the the fabric the linen fabric and the wood there's just something about that that I love. Anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below.
Anyway guys, that's all I got for you in today's video, but I am also filming a few other videos today, so watch out for those. I'm gonna be decorating my kitchen, my open shelves in my kitchen, sharing this new um, entry slash kitchen wall that Erin finished up this week and decorating that. So I hope that you will come back for that video, but in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will catch you in that one. See ya, bye.